does your bow bounce when you're going from an up bow to a down bow? Hi, I'm Laura from Meadowlark Violin and welcome to my online studio. Today we're gonna to be talking about a problem that a lot of students face, and that's the bouncy bow when doing the transition from an up bow to a down bow. First off, let's start by talking about the physics behind a bouncing bow. Your bow bounces just the same way that a bouncy ball bounces. How do you get a bouncy ball to bounce? Well, you've got to apply some sort of downward force. You've either got to throw it down to the ground, or if it's already bouncing, you've got to continuously apply some sort of downward force. You've either got to hit it with your hand or hit it with a paddle to continue that bounce. Well, the violin bow works the same way. If it's bouncing, it's because some sort of downward force is being applied. Now it's also important to point out that the bow bounces differently depending on where you are in the bow. In the lower half of the bow where the bow is the heaviest, it really doesn't bounce on its own. You have to force it to bounce if you want it to. If I just apply a downward force, nothing happens. The bow does not bounce at all. The upper half is extremely bouncy and it's almost uncontrollably bouncy. But if I apply a downward force and keep that force going, it will bounce. Now the upper half doesn't tend to bounce on its own that much unless you're really dropping the bow or adding a lot of downward force. But the middle part of the bow is the bounciest. And one reason is because this is around the balance point where the bow balances. It's the bounciest part, and when you want to intentionally bounce the bow, that's where you're going to do it in that lower third part right there. Now this is a tricky spot right here because this is generally where people unintentionally get the bow bounce on an up bow to down bow transition because that's usually about where it's happening because people don't want to go too far to the frog, so they do the, the bow change right around in there, and then they'll start getting the bounce. Well, why are you getting the bounce? Well, it's because you're applying some sort of downward force. So there's kind of three different forces you could apply. Now, one is just you're adding too much weight. And think about it, if you're going from an up bow to a down bow, you're lightening the weight that you're putting into the bow because the frog is already heavier. If you don't lighten the weight, you're gonna get the scratchy sound. So you know you've gotta lighten the amount of weight going into the string. But then when you go from down bow to up bow, you know you've got to do the opposite and start applying more weight. Well, if you apply too much weight, then that's the same as applying a downward force and you're going to get a bow bounce. Now, if you're applying that weight incorrectly and you're using pressure instead of weight, you will really get a bow bounce. Now, what's the difference? Well, pressure is kind of using your index finger forward, or I think of it just as using the wrist forward, kind of like pressing a button. That's gonna tend to cause a bounce because it's very localized. It's that extra pressure right there. Weight is just using the whole relaxed weight of your shoulder and your arm, transferring that weight into the string. So if you're really pressing with your index finger on from the up bow to down bow, it could make the bow bounce. The final reason your bow may be bouncing while you're going from an up bow to a down bow is because you're tensing up. Adding tension is the same thing as basically applying a downward force. If you're locking up your hands, locking up your fingers, then it's basically applying a downward force. And you might get into the bounce, just it might be very subtle, it could just be a, a, just a little bit of a bounce, or you might just be noticing the bow kind of bouncing on its own, wobbling there. A lot of times you'll be playing, your bow will be staying on the string, but your bow, the actual stick, kind of has a wobble. That can be somewhat natural sometimes. It's not necessarily a big deal. But you might have that, or you might be adding a little too much weight, or you might be adding a little bit of pressure, and then the bow starts to bounce, and what do you do? You lock up, and you get really tense because you're trying to kill the bounce, and then you get the exact thing you were trying to avoid. You're actually adding to the bounce because you're locking up, you're tensing up, you're putting more downward force, and you're just gonna hit that ping pong ball and make the bow bounce even more. So if you're going from up bow to down bow, probably the worst thing you could do is lock up or tense up if you get that, that bow bounce. 
So how do you fix the bow bounce? Well, the best thing you could do is experiment. Take some time and really just go up bow to down bow, try different things with your muscles, try relaxing, try adding way too much weight, try adding way too much pressure, try tensing up. See if you can actually intentionally get the bow to bounce. And one thing that you'll learn when you try to intentionally do what you're avoiding is how to avoid it. You'll know what to do to not do that thing if you teach yourself how to do it. It's kind of crazy how that works. So I would suggest just spending a lot of time experimenting and actually spend a lot of time trying to get the bow to bounce. That's probably the best thing you can do to teach yourself how to avoid that bounce from the up bow to the down bow. I'm Laura from Meadowlark Violin. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out my website, meadowlarkviolin.com for a lot more great violin resources. And while you're here, you can check out this video or this video and have fun practicing.